Ken Surfs here, and another video. Well, uh, apologies, I uh, haven't been doing them as often as I did over the July 4th vacation, because man, I've been busy. I've been working my uh, ass off on that uh, garden shit I'm working on, and I'm happy to announce that's almost done, so no more back-breaking work. Just some fine touches, shelving, the roof, a couple of more things to go on, and it's done. Well, it's Monday night, and uh, gosh, five at, 10 after 6 in the evening. And at quarter to 7, I got to be at the golf course for an intermediate golf lesson with my wife and my daughter. Three of us were taking group lessons. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking of retiring maybe next year or the year after. I want to play golf. It's nice to do it with the family. They're having fun and it uh, keeps me out of trouble. But I had a really good mail call, oh man, must have been over a week ago. I've got a few items that came in, but uh, had some good items from Item 9 Soap Company. And they are on uh, Etsy, and I'll put their information in here. Bam Bam G, Mr. Bam Bam G. But uh, his soap I saw, I believe I saw Cap, uh, 7597, if you watch his videos, uh, he did a uh, review on this soap. And what's kind of cool is uh, the, the, the guy who owns the company, uh, he's going to donate some proceeds, because if you, if you guys aren't familiar with CAP uh, 7597, I always get those numbers mixed up. He has a son, Liam, who has some uh, health problems, and uh, uh, Bam Bam, the owner of the company, is going to donate some proceeds from every... Uh, every soap item sold towards uh, Liam uh, and toward, you know, give it to Cap for, to help out his son. So I thought that was really nice. But uh, I went to the Etsy site, I uh, bought some of this soap, and I got Applejack. Now, uh, it does smell, uh, <laughs> does it smell like Applejack cereal? It smells really good, I'm telling you that. It smells like uh, something you could eat, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. And I've got uh, some regular soap here, cilantro and aguave, cucumber oak, uh, bath soap. So that was kind of cool. So I bought, I bought, got these items from uh, Etsy, this Etsy site, and I'm going to be trying that out today for the first time. I'm going to put it into a bowl, put it into the Captain's Choice bowl and whip it up. And I've got uh, one of my Samoog bore brushes. I'm going to put that in the crystal skull right here, start soaking it a little bit. And we'll see if we can get this started. I'm gonna put a break right now in case I have to do a, an edit. Uh, I have a good stop point, so it'll take one second. There we go, see? Didn't even notice it. So I can open this up now. It's so cool trying out all these new soaps. So cool. And I've got a new brush to try out, but, oh, oh man, that smell, <laughs> it came through here pretty good, but, oh, it's really nice. It's soft, look. Whoop. It's soft. In fact, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it right in here with my fingers. I didn't have to use a, a coin to do that this time. Oh. I'm gonna smell good for a golf lesson. The only reason I'm doing it now is I haven't had an opportunity to do a video for you guys in a while, and I've got some cool things to preview, and this one you're gonna see in an upcoming preview. That's a custom-made brush from Mr. Matt Mobley. And uh, look at the size of that handle. And it's two different types of wood. And off the top of my head, I don't remember the wood type right now. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to look that up, and I'm going to use this brush in another video. But man, that's just a monster. I've got big hands, so that that is going to be real easy to hold that. But that's coming up in another episode. So I put my soap in here. Got my brush soaking. Get some of that water out, and we'll start. Now, you might have seen my videos. I sometimes, I shave before the soap gets uh, too thick. And it's not because I'm in a hurry. It's just because I found out that uh, it works. It works for me. So if I can get a, a good shave out of soap that might not be, you know, 
as tremendously thick as some of you want, that doesn't mean I'm not getting a good shave. Might mean I'm a little impatient. Wet my face a bit. Oh. And it is whoop, all over me, but it is whipping up really nice. See, that was a blooper. I could sit here for about 10 minutes and make this look like whipped cream. But if it'll work good. I'm all for it. See, that works for me. And I am sweaty. It's hot out there today. Working on a stupid woodshed. I'm using the Mercure long handle today with the uh, familiar Gillette Wilkinson sword because I want to I want to use a blade I'm accustomed to. Now, you know, you might say this is too thin, but this is just great. I mean, it works for me. Do what works for you. I got great scent coming off that soap. A nice slickness and a sweet glide with that, that razor. I mean, it knocked that down real good. And that was a couple of days worth. I ordered my pinball machine, the new one. Well, not new. Oh, what the hell? Elvira scared stiff. <laughs> Funny machine from 1996. They made about 3,000 of them worldwide. So uh, it's not a lot out there. This one I have to buy from St. Charles, Illinois. And have it shipped. And they pick it up this Friday from St. Charles, Illinois. And ship it out here to Surf City. That's about 400 bucks to ship. But I couldn't find one here in California. So you're saying, why well, build a garden shed? What's the big deal? That'll free up a bunch of room in my garage for more machines. Spent a lot of time in that man cave. More time than I spend in the shave den, that's for sure. See, this is nice, nice and thick. So you, some of you might whip up this hugely thick lather that looks like the foam that comes out of the can. But, man, this works for me, and I think this is nice and thick. Look at that. No problems. She's not dissolving. Smells great. Slick. Now my hand's slick. All right. Got two other people at work wet shaving now. So that's good. Two more converts to the double edge. One guy uses a Mercure, and one guy just got a, a Parker. Parker twist open with a long handle, as he says, uh, reminds him of the old days. So sorry, Gillette USA, that's uh, two more people who are not going to be using your cartridges as much. They might still use them, but I don't think so.
Now, I don't have a thick beard. I mean, it took me years to be able to grow a beard, if I can. I can get a good goatee going. But uh, those blades, for me, they go right through that. Some people were saying they have really coarse beards and they needed something like a feather. But, uh, man, they work for me. See, this stuff is still looking really nice. To me, that's nice and thick, guys. Smell like cereal. My dog's gonna think I'm hiding candy somewhere. Apple Jacks. Spiteful Soap. Uh, that contest uh, was over, and that limited edition soap has just arrived. I got some packages I just haven't opened yet. And spending all my time either at work or working on these projects. Dropped a razor blade in here. That's all I needed to do is to go down the sink drip. All right. I'm taking my sweet time on this one. It's been about 11 or 12 minutes. You see, you know, doesn't take me half an hour. But I try. Always cautious of that, so don't clip the bottom of my nose. You ever do that? It looks like you got a nosebleed, but you really don't. I got the witch hazel there ready. Perfect. All right. I don't have the water in the sink. I keep a, a bowl in there. See where that I used to rinse off the uh, the, uh, the razor with and the soap. Kind of conserves some water, but uh, you know if you have a big sink full of water, what a waste. So I just like I say, I just use this. And then to rinse off, I use some cold water. I got item nine soap in my ears, up my nose, <laughs> probably behind my ears. Oh, very good. My wife's gonna notice that. Nice soap, good soap. And I'm getting an opportunity lately of trying out so many cool soaps. And a lot of you guys are tipping me, like, hey, there's some good soap here, there's some good soap there. And uh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. Witch Hazel. There's also a, uh, now that I remember, a wet shavers meetup at the end of this month in Riverside. And it's, uh, uh, I'll put some information on it in the uh, description of this video. Uh, it's gonna be on, I think it's the 29th, but I'll double check. And it's gonna be at Wicks Brewery in Riverside. And I went a year ago, uh, it's by Local Gent Shaving is gonna be the sponsor and they've actually got a, a soap for it and a uh, aftershave for it. Uh, you can buy the swag bag, so I'm gonna buy the swag bag and I'm gonna try to make it. And the only thing that's gonna keep me from making that 
is if for some reason they're delivering that pinball machine that day and I have to be here to receive it because, you know, my wife can't receive a pinball machine. They're going to drop it on the curb or on the uh, driveway. And that would be the only reason that I can't make that. And I'm planning on making it. And uh, it was great last year. Great seeing all of you. They had raffles. They had giveaways. Uh, they have this whole bar, uh, Wicks Brewery. Look it up. Uh, this whole bar exclusively for the wet shavers. There was a bunch of people there. Last year, uh, uh, Doug Smythe was there from PAA. There was a lot of different companies there. Uh, so if you get a chance, look it up. It's going to be pretty nice. In fact, I'm going to use some uh, Big Shave West from uh, one year ago after shave today with this. Ah, got a good smell there too. It burns really good. Wow. Very good. See, you wouldn't even know I was uh, using a chop saw and a circular saw and a drill less than uh, 45 minutes ago, sweating my ass off in that hut or that shed. But uh, hey, I got a great shave out of it and I'm going to try to get a few more, but the next one I'm going to include this brush. So uh, I can't wait to try that. I just didn't want to do too many at once in this video. Well, let's see. It was about 16 minutes, but I tried. Uh, we'll try to make it over 21 of these times. All right, guys, have a great night, and I'll see you next time.